y'all welcome back to my channel forgive the nails y'all have been working um this is going to be a cash stuffing another one for my budgeting business this one if you are an old subby you may not dig it because i'm gonna try to talk through the cash stuffing process i have so many new people and i feel like so often we get caught up in the cash stuffing that we don't explain for people who are new to this so hello my name is jazz and this is my channel so first things first i have four separate binders i have a high priority funds mid-level funds and low-level funds and a savings binder okay and also i budget when i get a paycheck i work through my budget on this budgeting sheet i sell them other budgeters sell them so just find one that works best for your budget and you can use it so i add my income here i go ahead and pay the bills i'm going to pay I do cash envelopes, which is called also variable expenses. And these are um, the envelopes that you'll be using throughout the week, every week that you'll typically be emptying or biweekly, you know, however you get paid. But I'm not doing those this week. I do those with my next check. And then after that, whatever money's left will go to sinking funds, which are basically like mini savings accounts for you to put money aside for things that typically come up during the year that cost you um, significant amounts of money. Or it could just be whatever you want to save for. And then last, I'm choosing to do challenges. I also have budget sheets that have room for debt or additional savings. It's really whatever works for you. So we paid ourselves, uh, my check for my business this week was $1,000. Okay, let me start over. So I go from my income to my bills, $25 for Sprint. My total is $25. I have $9.75 left. Then I go over to cash envelopes. I'm not adding anything to my cash envelopes this week because I try to stretch them out for two weeks. So um, I'll be stuffing this later on in the week with my paycheck from my other business. So I have a total of zero there. I have $9.75 remaining. And then next I do that $9.75 will go towards my sinking funds. So I added in all of the money that I wanted to add to each of those funds. I have my total there. I have $850 going towards sinking funds. I have $125 remaining. That $125 will go towards challenges. So there will be $100 in my 52-week challenge and $25 towards my May um, challenge. And so I have $0 remaining. So I do what's called zero-based budgeting. So that means that every dollar has a place in my budget. There are several different kinds of budgets that you can use, but this is the one that works for me. So now let's go ahead and go in and stuff our sinking funds. So our first sinking funds are in our high priority binder. You can see that those have stars next to them. So they're high priority to me. And this first one is our savings. And to our savings, we are going to be adding $100. Okay, so I'm gonna grab 100 here. Add that in, and I have one thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, and five dollars. Okay. <clears throat> so also, I'm sorry. So also, you'll notice in here there's a one k slip. So this represents a thousand dollars that I have taken out of this fund and put in the bank, so that I know that that thousand dollars in my savings account is allocated for this sinking fund. So this is just the placeholder. Okay. And so also in these funds, I have. <clears throat> Budget sheets or sinking funds trackers, and this just keeps up with any money that I add or take from these funds. You'll see I went ahead and budgeted out my next paycheck um, from another business, so I know that at the end of the week, I have $1,405 in here. But as of today, we just added this 100 so I have 1305 bucks. So next up, we have our emergency fund, which will only be getting $10. I'm going to grab a 10 here. So our new total in emergency is 1,000, 20, 30, 35, 36. So 1,036 dollars in our emergency fund. In debt, we're going to be adding 50 dollars. Okay. And so I know a lot of people have questions about one, two, three, four, five, five, fifty-six about how I pay debt. I'm currently um, repairing my credit I had some medical stuff hit my credit this year so I'm saving up that money so that when I get to the point in credit repair where I'm ready to pay off the collections I can just go in here and grab what I need so I'm just stuffing it until it gets to the amount I need because I don't really have a bunch of like credit card debt I paid off my big credit card last month so buy shit is a business fund 
And this is just for any miscellaneous stuff I need in my business because I already have a business checking and savings account that's um, stuffed pretty well. So this is just for extra things I need. So to buy shit, we're going to be adding $100. So our new total there is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 900, 905, 907. So we have $907 in here. Next is our state taxes. So to my state taxes, I'm going to be adding $25. So we're going to add a 20 and a 5. And now we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 265. So we have $265. Oh, nope. I left a 10. So we actually have... 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 275. So we have $275 in taxes. To Newit, which is my car fund, I will be adding $150. So there's 100 and there's a 50. So we now have 1,000. 100, 200, 250, 300. So we have $1,300 in new whip. I'm going to be adding $25. And so this fund can really be for anything. If you're someone who has um, really high co-pays, it could be for that, for over-the-counter medications when your kids get sick. Anything medical related, you can use this fund for. So our new total, 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 295. Okay, and last up we have family time. So for me, this is for anything that I do with my family. It's mostly for my nieces, but you know, right now it's just stacking up. So we'll see um, what we use this money for. So we're gonna add twenty dollars to this one. One hundred, two hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So we have two hundred and eighty dollars in this fund. And if you are peeking at my trackers and see that they don't match up, I um, when I wrote them in. I was supposed to do the other check first, but this check deposited faster. So, you know, it'll end up the same with my next stuff in. So this is all for our high priority sinking funds. So I'm going to put this binder away. Next up, we are going to work through our mid-level sinking funds. And so first up, we have vacation. And so I was supposed to take a trip here next month with my nieces but I'm debating on canceling it we'll see so I'm adding a hundred dollars to this fund so now I have eleven hundred dollars the place we were supposed to go still has really high COVID restrictions and I'm not paying all that money to go and we just have to sit in the hotel room like the hotel was supposed to be it has all this fun stuff and if they can't do it I don't know so anyway to gifts we're going to be adding ten dollars so, we're gonna have, um, excuse me, we now have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 235. So we have $235 in gifts. And I'm sorry, y'all, this is so junky and not the best presentation. Uh, my niece graduates this week, so I have to try to push all my binders out so I can have some free time for her stuff. So I needed to hurry up and shoot this video. Um, so for toiletries, we're going to be adding $10. So our new total here is $100, $120, So we have $140 here. To Christmas, we will be adding $10. So we now have $120, $30, $40. So $140 in Christmas. And as I've said before, um, my Fetch Rewards link is in the description box of this video. Um, Fetch Rewards is an app that rewards you gift cards for points. And you get points for scanning in receipts, um, logging into your online shopping, um, as far as like Amazon, Target, Sam's, that kind of thing. You get points for everything. So you're spending the money anyway. Why not get points? And you can also refer your friends and family and you get points for that. But I have um, $1,000 worth of gift cards in Fetch. So my Christmas is fully funded with Fetch Rewards. So I'm just saving extra money for you know whatever I don't know 
But FETS is a really cool thing, especially if you are someone on a very low income. So the money that you spend could be making more money for you, if that makes sense. So, um, and again, my um, link is in the description for you to sign up for Fetch. It gives you 2,000 points for using my link. So next up, we have Rico, which is my pet turtle. And so he will be getting $10. I'm going to try to remember to insert another picture of him. I know somebody else asked to see him. They must have missed it in the other video. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 112, 114. And I know I'm talking a lot in this video, but I feel like I, I'm always trying to just push it out. But y'all gonna get to know me today, okay? Um, <laughs> so last up we have giving, and I gave away the $50 I was going to put in here um, for reaching 3K. So maybe next time. So that's all for our mid-level um, funds. I'm actually going to pull that one out because that's last. Okay, so I'm going to put that away. And last up, we have our low-level um, sinking funds. So very first up, we have Kamari, which is my niece's fund. She's not getting anything. Second up, we have our Oh Shit fund. To our Oh Shit fund, we are going to be adding $20. And if you're wondering, this is a miscellaneous fund. For those moments that are like, oh, shit, I forgot to, you know. Okay, so 100, 150, 200, 220, 230, 235. So we now have $235 in here. Okay, next up is our retirement fund. And to this fund, we are going to be adding $50. And this will get deposited to Vanguard at, <clears throat> at 1K. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570. So we have $570 in here. A Sprint Fund, we are going to be adding $100. As I've mentioned before, I really need a new phone, so I'm pumping this one up. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400. Okay, and next up is birthdays. Birthdays will be getting $20. All right, so we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200. So we now have 200 bucks in our birthday fund. Our hair products fund, our hair fund, will be getting $10. So 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165, 166. So $166. Clothing will also be getting $10. Okay, so 100, 120, 130, 140, 142, 144, 145. So $145 in clothing. So that is it for our low-level priority funds. And last but not least is my niece's wedding. And so we're going to be adding $20 to this one. So 100, 120, 140, 150, 152, 54, 55. So $155 here. Okay, and so that's the last of those. Okay, and last but not least, we have our savings binder. And so this is where all of my savings challenges go. I first off have a $1 savings challenge. Also have a $5 savings challenge. And so these were really stuffed. I took them out actually in increments of 100 and put them away um, in a safe until the end of the year. So don't, if you're wondering why they look so naked. So first up, we have our 52-week challenge, and to our 52-week challenge, I'm going to be adding $100. So let me see if I can add up $100 real quick. Oh. We're going to go ahead and add $100 to this fund, and this one also has a 1K slip. And I don't count this one. I'll do a um, savings challenges update and update y'all on that one. And I found my main challenge. <clears throat> um, okay, yes. Yeah, so this week I'll be adding $25 to my main challenge. And I did add in the 20 from last week. So week four, we added $25. So we have one more week and then we will see how much money we put away. And this will probably go towards my phone. 
Okay, oh, and if you were wondering what all is in my savings challenge binder, I have a $1 savings challenge, $5, my 52-week challenge, and also for money for side hustles that I work for the week, and that's just a dead payoff tracker. That's from um, paying off a credit card. <clears throat> it just makes me feel better when I get to mark off stuff, you know? And so that's the last of my binders, and so that's how I worked in my budget, y'all. I really tried to be... Um, more open and talk a little more in this video so that you guys can see kind of how things work. Um, again, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section. And I'll, I'll try to do my best to go answer everybody's questions. There's a lot of comments down there. Um, again, be sure to shop baddiesandbudgets.com. Um, All that's available right now is the Louis Vuitton Inspired Binders and um, a few sunflower binders unfortunately I'm trying to give myself time to catch up on all of the pending orders before I go ahead and release um, more colorful binders and I also want to give myself a week off okay let's just be honest I've been working like a slave not a slave let me not say that let me err uh, I've been working like a <clears throat> I don't know I've been working I don't want to offend nobody okay um but yeah, that's it, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't be skipping the ads. Help a sister out, okay? Um, Y'all have a good day. Thank you so much. I'll be back with another stuffing this week, probably Saturday, from um my clothing business, okay? And so y'all have a good day. Bye.